Hey y'all, what is up? It's Tuesday, so I haven't picked you guys up in a few days because your girl has been sick. Olivia has been sick as well. Um, crazy turn of events. So Friday, earlier Friday, everybody seemed like they were okay, you know, but then... Um, after school, Olivia was saying how she did, didn't really feel that well and stuff. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, and I gave her a little bit of medicine. And when she got home, when we got home from picking up her dad, she went to bed and then that was it. And I cut up all those peppers and onions, y'all, which had my body so sore and I was just so tired. And that's when I started to notice that I, that I wasn't really feeling that well either. Well, it kicked in full fledged on Saturday um, and I still needed to work. So I did do some deliveries Saturday, but it really didn't help, um, health wise because I ended up feeling more sick and Olivia was more sick as well. So that was Saturday. And then Sunday, we both were just really, really sick. Um, I was sick trying to take care of myself while trying to take care of her it was just kind of like a whole hot mess, y'all, like for real. Um, I was having mom guilt because I was like, dang, I can't even, I'm too weak to take care of my own kid, you know, but we got it done. And then yesterday, um, she was still sick. Like I had been giving her medicine and stuff and, um, a lot of liquids and orange juice and water and soup and all of that and so I was like okay well maybe she'll once she get to school which was yesterday Monday once she get to school you know and she gets some fresh air maybe she'll start to feel a little bit better well she was at school for like maybe three hours before the nurse called and asked me to come get her so I picked her up yesterday y'all I was still feeling horrible still feeling horrible um I picked her up yesterday we came home uh, I gave her some soup, some medicine, some juice. Um, she ate a yogurt cup, a Welch's slushy that's juice. Um, cause at that point, after a while we had ran out of water. So all I could give her was, um, some juice. So she was drinking that. Um, she didn't really want anything solid. So she really only ate the soup, the yogurt. That's all she wanted to eat. She didn't want anything else. And then she drank a lot of water. And after the water, she drank juice. Well, today, well, last night, the, last night, um, I, so she, so I had got her settled. She was on the couch. She was watching TV and everything. And I was sitting here, I had took some medicine and I, I was sitting here and I started feeling sleepy all of a sudden. So I, I was about to lay down and then I was like, you know what? I forgot I had fixed a burger for my husband to eat and so that I could put something on my stomach as well because I had been taking medicine all day and not eating anything. And so um, I went in the kitchen, I made my burger as I was making it, I just started feeling really dizzy and really hot. And I just started moving in slow motion. It was like everything was going in slow motion. So I tried not to feed into it because I didn't want to alarm anybody or anything like that. And Olivia's still feeling bad and stuff. And so as I'm walking towards the room, um, because I was going to eat it in here, I was walking and then I felt myself get really, really dizzy. And next thing I know, um, I felt my husband tapping me, asking me, um, telling me that he's a, that he's helping me. You know, he's calling my name and he's like, let me help you. Let me help you. Girl, I had passed out. I had fainted, basically. I didn't even realize that I had fainted. The last thing I remember was just coming down the hallway and then feeling really dizzy. And then when I opened my eyes, girl, I... Mind you, I had a burger that I had made in one hand wrapped up in a napkin and a cup of ice um, because I had this soda that I was going to drink with it. Girl, 
like I said, when I opened my eyes, he was standing over me telling me that he's trying to help me get up. And girl, I don't know. It was so weird. I was so hot. My forehead was so sweaty. So he helped me to the bed and girl, that was it. I just, I just had to lay down for a minute because I was just like really, really hot. And, um, so of course my cup of ice was everywhere. My food was everywhere because I had passed out or fainted rather. So I laid down for a few minutes and then I was okay after that, you know, it, that, it, it's, <laughs> That weirded me out so bad because I had never fainted before. I've come close to fainting, you know, like when you get really hot and stuff. <clears throat> but I never actually went out or blacked out or whatnot. Um, so that was interesting. So anyway, I took Olivia to the doctor um, because she's not getting any better. Even after all the meds and the, the, the um, juice and the water and all the things. She's still not getting any better. So I ran her over to urgent care because her normal doctor that she goes to is by appointment only. Um, so I had to take her to the urgent care and they basically told me that she had the flu and that they couldn't prescribe her anything because it had been more than two days because she started feeling bad on Friday. And I guess I, because I didn't know that that's what she was actually experiencing was the flu because Olivia's never had the flu before. She doesn't get the flu shots either. So I didn't know that that's what that was. I thought it was just a really bad cold. But um, but because I couldn't let her go to school today, I really had no choice but to take her to the doctor so that they can find out what was going on. So she has the flu. So they told me they couldn't prescribe her anything. Um, because it's after two days, it has to be within the first two days. So they just basically told me to just give her some over the counter stuff and keep her, um, with fluids and things like that. So after we left the doctor, I did stop at, uh, I did stop at CVS to see if her prescription, if her, uh, insurance would pay for over-the-counter medicine but they said that the doctor would have had to write a prescription which is crazy because the doctor is the one that sent me over there but it's okay because we have medicine here so after there after leaving the CVS I ran inside well we went inside Kroger because she was asking for something cold um so I got some more juice um some yogurt pouches, um, some oranges. She didn't want any orange juice. She said it burns her throat. So I just got her some Minute Maid strawberry lemonade juice and they had some uh, Mucinex in the clearance. So um, that's what I was able to get and some water. So we just got to the house. Um, so that's why I'm still kind of looking like this because it's been a long morning. I have not had a chance to get myself together. The only thing I've had a chance to do is brush my teeth. <laughs> so um, right now I have her soaking in the bathtub because she said that her back was hurting. So I have her soaking in the bathtub right now with some Epsom salt the muscle therapy solution for aches and pains she's got a cup of juice in there um with her and I've, I've got her a can of soup chicken noodle soup on the stove but i am gonna still make homemade chicken noodle or chicken and rice soup for her because that one can she'll eat that and um you know, that'll be it. She's still going to need to eat something later. So it's only 12. Well, it's 12.25. So I'm just going to clean off four pieces of the chicken legs. And I don't have any celery or anything like that, but I've got a little bit of rice and I've got some frozen peas and carrots. Um, so hopefully 
that'll be just fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm gonna do five pieces of chicken. That way, let's see, I'm gonna try to, these are legs, so I don't know if I'm gonna, how much this is gonna make. So we'll just do five pieces and then I could just bake the rest later. Um, yeah, we'll do that. For dinner, Like I drank so much water. That's why we ran out of water so fast. Cause I had just bought a water Friday. But I think me and Olivia were just so thirsty. Um we just went through the water really quick. And then, oh my goodness, y'all, when I say this weekend, like I'm trying to feel better, I really am, but I really want to just go to bed right now. <laughs> but then who's going to take care of Olivia? But anyway, but yeah, all that water had me using the bathroom like crazy. And when I did go to the bathroom, I barely made it each time. So that was crazy because I was starting to think, well, dang, am I having trouble with my bladder, you know? <sighs> I don't know. But I can't worry about that. I have to make sure Olivia is fine. And then I have to worry about me later. All right. So I'm just going to... Let's see, I just washed my hands so I don't want to touch the chicken. Okay, y'all, so it's almost five o'clock and this is what I have going on in the kitchen right now. I am tending to that chicken and rice soup that I told y'all about earlier. And so I've got my chicken broth. I allowed my chicken legs to boil for hours until the meat fell off. So it's literally been boiling this whole time, y'all. Um, when I first put them on, I think it was like 12 something. But anyway, so I've had it boiling all this time and this is the broth from it. I did add a little bit of water to it and I just threw some rice that I had left over in the pantry and a chicken bouillon cube in there and this is the meat I've just finished separating it from the bone and the grizzle and all that stuff and so now what I'm about to do is the rest of that chicken that I have I'm gonna bake it I feel like this size pan would be sufficient enough so I'm gonna bake that I'm going to take half of this bag, put it in the soup, and then I'm going to cook the other half of it on the stove. That way, Olivia has her soup for the next couple of days, and then Hun will have dinner for tonight. And then if there's anything left over, then um, it can be his dinner for tomorrow. Now for myself, y'all. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. Oh my goodness. I had to cough inside my shirt, but okay. Uh I got a little cramp on my side. Okay. <laughs> okay. Woof. Girl. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do. That way he has dinner. Now for me, I don't know what I'm gonna eat, y'all. I don't even have an appetite. Just so that I don't go all day completely eating nothing i've just been munching on crackers honestly um i may go ahead and eat some of the baked chicken i just really don't have taste for any food right now which is not good it's not helping my cold because i haven't 
been eating since I've been sick. Um, except for the, oh, which by the way, let me put y'all down. I forgot. I forgot that I did eat something. I forgot that um, after the hun helped me to bed or whatnot, after my little fallout, my sandwich, <laughs> I was thinking it was all over the floor. I don't know what I was looking at, but it turns out I actually landed on my sandwich. So it was still wrapped in the paper towel and he went, <laughs> it was sitting on the nightstand. He went and got me some new ice and put the sandwich on the nightstand. Girl, so that was really the only thing that I've eaten in the last two days. I just haven't had, well, since Friday. What did I eat Friday? The pizza. I ate some pizza Friday. Saturday, I didn't eat anything. Sunday, I tried to eat. No, that was yesterday. I tried to eat a pot pie. He warmed me up a pot pie yesterday for lunch, and I tried to eat that, but that's when I got the call to go pick Olivia up from school, so I ended up leaving it, and it got cold, and I tried to eat it when I got back, but like I said, I just didn't, I just wasn't feeling the food, feeling like eating any food. Whew, shot. Okay. Okay. So this is the chicken. It's already cleaned off. I just have to season it. So that'll be tonight's dinner. And then I'm going to go ahead and make these crescent rolls. Um, I bought two packs of these on Friday with the idea for Sunday to make like these. In my mind, this is what I was going to do, y'all. I was going to take that dough. I was going to cut up some of them apples because y'all know I got a, an abundance of apples over there. And so I was going to cut up the apples deep hit you know take uh skin off and cut them up into cubes roll out the croissant put like scoops of the apple well first of all before i put it in the croissant i was going to put it in a bowl put some sugar some cinnamon on it and then put like little scoopfuls spoonfuls into the croissant roll and then put a piece of butter in there and then like roll it up and it'd be like a I guess what like an apple turnover or something I don't know but that's what the idea was and I'm still gonna do that because I need to <laughs> make sure these apples get eaten before they go bad um, I've never had I don't I can't recall a time I could be wrong but I can't recall a time where I've ever had that many apples all at one time so I gotta you know what this actually uh, <coughs> okay is this casserole dish gonna be too small let's see if it is then we'll just put it in a big one Boiling. I only had a little bit of rice. Oh dang! Well, I'm sorry. Y'all can't even see nothing I'm doing. All right. Yeah, I don't know why I thought because there's five pieces, four or five. I think that was, let's see, was that four? It might have been four or five. Um, let me put this on low. Chicken legs, I can't even remember now. Y'all, for some reason, my memory is here. Oh, okay, child. Good gracious. Just like when I was trying to figure out when I posted the last video. Girl, that was yesterday. Because I did it while I was trying to eat that pie pie. While I, well, while I was about to eat the pie pie, I hadn't actually gotten into it yet, but while I was about to eat the pie pie, I had just posted that video. I don't know why, where my memory went all of a sudden. 
It's crazy. All right, I'm just washing up a few dishes here because we're dealing with chicken. You know what I mean? So the same seasonings that I'm basically going to put in this soup is what I'm going to put on this chicken. So we're going to go with some onion powder and I'm going to turn this off for a little bit. Let's stir this up. See what we're looking like. Yeah, see this not even a whole lot of rice. I don't know why I thought I had more than this, but it's okay. You know what? I wonder if I have any more. Um, I almost sat this in here. There was a raw piece of chicken in there. Let's not cross contaminate, shall we? Um. Huh. Do I not have any more? I must have went on ahead and used them. The egg noodles. I must have used them. I don't see it. Alright, so onion powder, let's do this all the same time. Um, I thought about putting, oh, you know what, I'll do that to this one. Uh, putting that pepper, green pepper and onion mixture. What am I looking for? A little bit of ground turmeric. Turmeric. A little bit in here. A little bit more. Alright. Then, let's see. I'm going to take a little bit of salt. Now, I'm using regular salt. Alright, let's do this. Let me get a paper towel. And you know what? I'm glad I stopped myself because actually I need to be using um, this salt on the chicken. So this is sodium free salt. So that's what I have in the salt shaker. Um, so for this chicken, we're going to use that. And then for this, we're just going to use regular salt. But not a lot of it. To y'all, it's probably going to look like I put a lot. But I didn't. If anything, it's probably going to need more. Um, black pepper. But it's okay. Because it's still way, way less sodium and salt than a can of soup. You know what I mean? Alright, so put some garlic powder in there. Because I want my chicken noodle soup to be flavorful. You know what I mean? And I believe that's why Olivia likes when I make it. So some paprika. I'm just going to put a little bit. Oop, that wasn't a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh, my stomach is starting to growl. Okay, okay, okay. That's a good sign. That is a good sign some black pepper in the soup. I'm just going to do a little eh. and on the chicken my husband loves black pepper so we're going to make sure we go a little a little bit more heavy handed with the pepper. Alright so I am going to have to kind of do this number here.
Hey y'all, it's the next morning. So quick Dollar Tree run. I really needed some more disinfectant spray. I've been trying to keep all the germs down um, as much as possible. So I've been spraying disinfectant spray like crazy. So I needed another one. I got some disinfectant wipes as well so that I can wipe stuff off. I don't wanna, I have bleach, but I don't have a whole lot of it left. So I figure I could use that. Needed another thing of paper towels. I used the last of that Epsom salt that I was telling you guys about yesterday, so got another Epsom salt. Just in case Olivia is experiencing more aches and pains. Right now she's having a stomach pain, so the only thing that I could think of was to get her this. It is hot or cold pain relief pack so she can put it on her stomach. Um, so I'm going to get her together and give her that. <laughs> And then, so that she can kill all the germs and stuff in her mouth when she's brushing her teeth. Same thing with me as well. We have the Listerine, but it's not an antiseptic. Antiseptic. So, um, got this for us. Needed something to keep the toilet clean. This uh, kills viruses and bacteria. It's also a disinfectant. And <laughs> needed a bar of antibacterial soap. And so while we were in the Dollar Tree, Olivia saw these cheese sticks. She wanted it, so I grabbed it. And she's still eating light. So she's still eating on the soup. Um, she's eating some soup right now. So she's going to be eating on that pretty much all day. But in between, I'm going to give her these smoothie starters. She's got some more of that strawberry lemonade juice that I... Um, got her so these I think will be good for her she's asking for stuff that's cold um so it's a smoothie starter this one has strawberry banana mango and spinach and you just add your juice dairy or non-dairy product and then this one is blueberry strawberry mango and spinach so it has the vegetables, which I like. I didn't even realize they sold these. I saw the bags of just the frozen veggies. Well, they had strawberries, but it was in the $3 freezer section. But um, anyway, so yeah. So after she's done with her soup, I'm going to give her some more of this Mucinex. I've been kind of going between this and the Theraflu. So the Theraflu more so for her aches. And this is more so for her uh, cough and stuffiness. So... That is where we are right now. 